So Mark, we've got here the uh, the start of the latter story, basically, or the start of the recent latter story with Sense AI. Can you tell me what you've got going on here and why Sense AI is such a solid platform that Lattice uses? Yeah, sure. So what we're showing here is our Sense AI stack is one of our first software stacks that we have for solutions from Lattice. And the demonstration here is uh, running on this little board is real-time face detection. So inside the FPJ, we have an edge inference model that is trained to detect human faces and to track them. So that's what we're showing here. And that's just one of many different reference designs that we offer. Um, so we have a, if you look at the stack, we have a hardware platforms. There are various different boards that we support with different types of sensors. And then we have different IP cores, which are different neural networks that we've implemented for different types of applications. Some are video, some are voice, uh, just depends. And then we have a software tool flow. So you can use our sta standard software tools to generate uh, whatever FPJ logic you want to, and also standard uh, neural network training uh, flows such as TensorFlow, TensorFlow Lite, CAFE, and Keras. These are industry standard software flows that everybody uses. So you can still use those with Lattice, and then we have a compiler that takes the output of those train networks and compiles it into the FPJ. And the reason for doing this is we can run any network you want to pretty much. It's very low power, always on, uh, and very good for doing some simple kind of low power edge AI. And is that the beauty of then using an FPGA as opposed to a microcontroller? Yes, yeah, so we have uh, higher performance and lower power uh, versus MCUs. And in and, and particular, we get used a lot in um, small cameras or in battery powered kind of devices. Oh, that makes um, sense. So that can be always on and not draw much current. Thank you.